to begin this afternoon with a guilty verdict in the West Side terror attack. Saifullo Saipov was just found guilty on federal charges, 28 counts, including murder and terrorism. It has been five years since he killed eight people on a bike path adjacent to the Hudson River on the west side. Eyewitness News reporter Lionel Moise has been in the courtroom all day, joins us live now from Lower Manhattan with the breaking details. Lionel. Hey, yes, we have been covering this case. It took about six hours of deliberations over two days. The jurors sending back several notes to the judge asking for clarification, which led some people to believe that there was some confusion, but there was no confusion with this verdict today. He was found guilty on all charges and those jurors were polled. So again, this was a unanimous decision. Now, what they were trying to do in court was say uh, that he was not trying to do this terror attack in an effort Effort to join ISIS. His defense said uh, that he wanted to die a martyr. The prosecutors say, though, that he did this intentionally on Halloween when he knew people would be out on that bike path and that the attack only ended when he crashed a school bus or crashed into a school bus, that is, uh, and that there would have been more carnage, that he would have hurt more people on the Brooklyn Bridge. And there was no visible reaction from him in the courtroom as he was wearing a mask, uh, but he did hold his head down as that verdict was read. He was also convicted of providing material support to ISIS with the death resulting. The defense called no witnesses in the case. The jurors, though, were told that they need to keep quiet because they will be brought back to this courtroom February 6th or a little bit later for the next phase of this. And this is where they're going to be deciding whether or not he should face the death, the death penalty. But again, a guilty verdict in a terror attack that we have been following for several years.